Um, hey guys, I had another dream slash vision from God, and let's just say it's a warning. It's a warning, um, I guess, about these last days. And yeah, before I get into it, I'm just gonna say a quick prayer. Father, I thank you for bringing me here today. Oh God, um, I thank you for my life. I thank you for all the great things you've given me. Let the words I speak to your people in this world who watch this video um, not be from my mind, but be from your mind. Let me not say what I want to say, but let me say what you want me to say. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So in this vision, what happens is I'm in a car and um, I'm driving, right? And then we're driving past all these religious temples, like... There's different denominations of Christianity. Um, there's the Jehovah Witness Temple. And um, there's loads of big religious temples. And um, I think we went past the mosque as well. And just another big religious temple as well. Yeah, just past different denominations as well. And the thing is, I don't fully... Just looking at it, a voice spoke to me. And it says, in the last days, there will be false prophets and deceiving spirits. People will follow the doctrines of demons. And I'm like, true. Because looking at it, demons are fallen angels. So demons once were in heaven with God. And they know a lot of things and they can reveal a lot of spiritual mysteries and they can perform even miracles at times to amaze human beings. Human beings seem so amazed by different signs that they see from the spirit realm, you know, but not all of them are from God. Not all of them are from God. You know what I'm saying? I tell you because people sell their soul for money. You know, they give their soul to the devil and get money from that. You know what I'm saying? And people see that and they think it's a miracle from God when it isn't a miracle from God. It's just the devil giving people the world for their soul. And Jesus said, what use is it to gain the entire world but lose your soul? Your soul is the most important thing. Your soul is what will go into eternity. Your soul will either go to heaven or burn in the lake of fire. And I'm telling you, if you don't have Christ, if you don't have Jesus, please get to know him. I tell you for a fact that he's real. He's real and he's the savior of the world. He's the only one. The only way into heaven. He says in the word. I am the way. The truth and the life. No one cometh unto the father. Except through me. Who thinks they can get to the father. By themselves. You're riddled with sin. How do you think you can stand. Before a holy God. With all that sin. In you. Now you know God. He forgives sin. But. Something must pay for it. Before it was animal sacrifices. But. That did not change people's hearts. So he sent Jesus to be the sacrificial lamb for all the sins of the world. And all who believe in Jesus and follow him will receive his spirit. And his spirit will guide their lives a different direction. Guide them in all truth and lead them to heaven. So the scripture, the scripture, what it, where it, what it is, is... Um, 1 Timothy 4.1 which says the spirit clearly says that in the let latter times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Now you see Christianity. Many people have left Christianity. Many people have gone to ev evolve different Chris types of Christianity such as Mormonism and the Jehovah Witness movement and even other churches there. You know, other churches who believe like you have to, you are, you have to like fulfill the law when um, Jesus Christ has already fulfilled it for us. So if you're trying to keep the old law, you know what I mean? 
the law can't save you. The law is a death letter. You know, if you try and get closer to God by fulfilling the law, it's not going to work for you. It's not. Because if you break one of them, you've broken them all. You know what I'm saying? And you can't freely serve God if you're trying to keep the law. Just be in the spirit. You're saved by your faith. Abraham never fulfilled the law. But because he had faith in God and followed the spirit of God. And what the spirit of God told him to do and obeyed that. That is what got him his resting place. Same with David, Moses, all the prophets. But a lot of people today are thinking they can get to heaven by obeying the law. But God says your good works are as filthy rags. You know, we're not holy, we're full of sin. You know what I'm saying? God even says we're evil. I remember in the Bible it says, If you being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give to them that ask him? You being evil. Everyone is evil. The heart of a human is deceptive and desperately wicked. You know what I'm saying? Even those in Christ, have you ever been in those days where you just feel evil, you feel wicked, you have all these temptations and you're almost entertaining them? That's because of your wicked heart. You know what I'm saying? So don't even follow your heart. For those who say follow, your, follow the desires of your heart, don't do that. Ask God what to do. Ask God to guide you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave soon. And um, I just want to close this video in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Um, I praise and magnify your name, O oh God. I pray for everyone who's watched this video that they may receive this message, O oh God. And um, if there is anyone here who has not yet received Christ and wants to make Christ their Lord and Savior today, O oh God. All of you who want to do that, I ask you to just um, repeat after me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my life. Lord, I thank you for everything you give me. God, I believe you sent your son Christ Jesus to die for my sins, for the free gift of eternal life. Oh God, I am a sinner. Please forgive me for all of my sins. Help me to follow you and endure till the end so that I may see I may receive my crown of life in Jesus name I pray amen so if you guys just said that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart you are now saved now um what Jesus said um to Mary Magdalene after she was caught in adultery he told her to go and sin no more so if there's anything that is stopping you from going further with Jesus whether that be an ex-boyfriend whether that be um, an immoral lifestyle you're living, turn away from that. You know, start getting into your word and um, looking into the things of God. And um, I'm glorifying him in everything that you do. And yeah, God, I thank you just for letting me be able to do this video. Giving me the strength to do it. Oh, God. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. All right. So... Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, man, praise God. Times are getting dark in these last days, but I believe God is doing a revival. He's bringing all his true people back to him. He's separating the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares. Um, I believe he's doing that in these last days. And um, yeah, man, God bless all of you. Deuce. Yeah.